So if he grabs my right hand to get that release, I have to step back with my right foot. Because if he's stronger than me and I do this, I'm not gonna be able to pull it back just using the muscles of my upper back. So I need to use my stance to get out. So you break away like that. This crank is into the larger test um, point here. But the basic form is just this. But he's gonna punch. So when he punches, I do this and block. So if he does this and does a straight punch, I can pocket. If he did a round punch, I'd have to be able to. The form doesn't show that. So basically the form is here. I strike, pull back, block. Strike, pull back, so I'm on block. Okay? Great. Okay, when you do advanced seal towel and you do the tongue and you circle around and do that short strike, so it's just a little short strike. So when you do the bong sao, you're doing two different motions. Like a pianist playing one rhythm with one hand and another rhythm with the other. So the bong is soft, it lifts up. A lot of people do bong on top, but if you do a bong on top, you don't cover it. So you start lifting the bone from here. So incrementally, you cover all these points in space. Because I may catch the punch here, I may catch it there, I may catch it there, right? But if I do this, I've gone around the punch. So this bone cell rolls and lifts. It's soft, it's yin. This is a strike, it's yang. So, see when I do it, it's like that. Most people just throw both hands out. They give the same intensity. It's different. One's doing this, one's lifting. Okay?